Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys the Vicious Jelly Bean ROM. This is uh, based on AOSP 4.1.1 for the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, this is one of the fastest ROMs available now. Of course, it is based on AOSP. It's one of the first, along with uh, Roots Boat and just a few others. I think Gummy, they're finally coming out with their version. I say finally. AOSP's only been out for like a day and a half. They've already got it out, so really not finally, but very quickly, everybody's beginning to get out their Jelly Bean ROMs. Uh, with this being built on AOSP, everything that wasn't working before is fully functional now. Uh, main thing here, if we turn it off and turn it back on, Google Now is fully functioning, and I haven't opened it yet, so it doesn't have any of my information, um, but it does work, and let's see here. Uh, some other things that this includes is the iMoseon Lean Kernel. Uh, if you do download a like a set CPU, you can overclock this ROM to 16... 150 megahertz or 1.65 gigahertz which is pretty cool you can also set uh, custom governors as well if you want to do that uh, as far as customization goes there's not a whole lot here it's just a very stable sturdy rom that's going to save on battery life uh, you guys already have probably seen the functionality that's added in jelly bean with the notification bar with google now uh, the update to google voice the update to the google apps um, all of that is featured here in this ROM. Of course, Vicious uh, Poly has put in some time and effort into tweaking this to make it even faster than Project Butter. Uh, you know, all the speed that Project Butter provides, this is even quicker than that. So I did run quadrant scores and it was getting almost 3,000 in the quadrant scores, uh, but that's at the clock speed that it comes with. That's not overclocked or anything, so that's pretty good for a stock ROM. Uh, but anyways, guys, this is Vicious Jelly Bean. It's one of the best out so far that's based fully on AOSP. Of course, the developers will have customizations available for this ROM. In fact, if you check out the link in the description, you can get the ROM as well as some modifications that are zippable, I'm sorry, that are flashable in Clockwork Mod Recovery, um, a whole list of modifications. So you can already have some customizations on Jelly Bean for your Galaxy Nexus. If you'll head to that link in the description. I'm going to show you guys how to install this really quickly. Uh, there's not much to it. We'll just go ahead and reboot into recovery. This does come with a reboot menu. Uh, otherwise, on other Jelly Bean ROMs, you'd have to power down and then boot into recovery manually. Uh, but here you can boot directly into recovery, which is pretty cool. Um, some of you guys were wondering if on these new Jelly Bean ROMs, uh, if... I think the previous Jelly Bean ROMs, the first ones to come out, were had some issues with Wi-Fi connectivity. That's all been fixed in this build, Wi-Fi connectivity, Bluetooth connectivity. And also on some of the earlier builds of Jelly Bean uh, that were based on the preview, on the developer preview, um, I noticed that my reception was dropping in and out, so especially 4G, I didn't have it a lot of the time. That's all been fixed in this build. Uh, so to install this, you're going to go to Wipe, Factory Reset, Swipe to Wipe. Cache, swipe to wipe, dab it cache, swipe to wipe, and then you're going to go back and install. You're looking for the vicious jelly bean 4.1.1, and you don't have to flash G apps because he has it fully integrated. So, like with Roots Boat, there were some issues with the G apps. Um, if you installed the G apps that it came with, there were issues with like YouTube and a few of the other G apps, they were not available. That's all been fixed in this version. Uh, so you would just swipe to wipe, and like I said, G apps are included, so you do not have to install those separately. That'll take about five minutes to load, and then you're just going to reboot the system. So that is Jelly Bean 4.1.1 by Polyvicious, or uh, Vicious AOSP developer. And we'll close out with the boot animation. Most of you guys have seen this by now. It's just the stock Jelly Bean boot animation. It looks pretty cool. Anyways, guys, you can check me out at DroidModerX.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. I will tweet out any new videos or articles that I write about. Plus, we do lots of giveaways there as well, so you want to be sure to follow me on Twitter. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see more coverage on the Galaxy Nexus, and also we're now covering the Galaxy S3, and also Galaxy 7, uh, the Nexus 7 tablet, I've got two of those coming to me, one to give away on this channel and one to cover. So you want to be sure that you're subscribed for that. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave comments below. Um, I try to respond to every comment that I get. 
Um, unless it's just a thanks for what you do and I liked your video. Um, if it's somebody asking for help, I try to respond to those. So, you know, leave comments. If you have a question, whatever, leave a comment. And uh, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.